have the same um, explanation of what's going on. Uh, came back negative, sore, a little bit swollen, um, but he's okay. Obviously, he went back out. Did he swell up at all between innings? Uh, he went down underneath the tunnel into the batting cage, threw some pitches just to see how he was feeling, felt pretty good about it, went back out there, and uh, after a couple pitches, it started tightening up more and more, and that's when, uh, obviously, we took him out. Yeah. Um, depends who we're talking about. I think there's some guys that are starting to feel better about their at-bats and feeling pretty good. There's other guys that, are, uh, that aren't, um, and we need to see more production out of them, but it's... Uh, it's a mix right now. Do you think picks will be all right rather than not all right? Is what you know right now? From what I know right now, I'm optimistic that he'll be fine for his next start. Um, obviously, we'll see how he wakes up and how it's feeling. Um, I'm sure it'll stiffen up quite a bit. It got him pretty good. But um, uh, right above where you're, yeah, yeah. Um, how many more pitches will he have at that point? Uh, he had quite a bit more to go. Um, yeah. But it was, was it safer to get him out of there and get him treated rather than have him play with you on the whole thing? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, at that point, when, once it started to tighten up enough for he was having a tough time finishing his pitches, it was it's time to get him out of there. But he did, did want to give it a shot. Well, the three in a row and hit the cross of the door, I guess that was the final one. It's one, one tell, yeah. <laughs> Are you worried that this prolonged stretch of, of, of offense has kind of come out of downturn the last seven games or so? Uh, no, if you, I mean, at the end of the day, you look at our road trip, you had Woodruff Peralta and uh, Hauser, the lefty Ashby. You follow that with Alcantara and Lopez, Lazardo, that first game in Miami. And then you start your day off in Cincy with Green. Um, and then Scherzer here, followed by Bassett. It's a, it's a nice row of arms. End of the day, you got to be able to beat those guys. So uh, we face some good arms, but uh, I think we'll we'll see better offense than what we're seeing right now. What is it about Bassett that makes it so tough on right-handers? He's had success all season on right-handers. Yeah, he has. Uh, he's done well against right-handers this year. Um, kind of mixes enough to keep guys off balance until he'll, he'll go ahead and change the shape of that that breaking ball slow it down from time to time um to the lefties he'll run that cutter in up top which uh gives guys trouble but uh he did a nice job um we can't let us that guy shut us out though so you make five hit bats three of your guys hit and two of their guys hit anything no, I think it's there's nothing to that. We hit a guy with the changeup. They hit our guy with the curveball. We hit a guy with the bases loaded. If you look at all of them, there's no rhyme or reason to any of it. I don't think there's anything behind it. I guess to wonder, Alonzo looked worse in the stadium than hit him with that. No, no doubt. I mean, uh, thankfully, he he's all right. Um, changeup got away from him. Yeah. Zero intention of. There's no reason to hit anybody. Did the warnings come out there because Paul Nolan and Dylan had been brushed back a little the previous episode? Yeah, I'm not exactly sure why the warning went out. Um, yeah. Well, with warnings issued, it's a little harder for anybody out. You guys are getting foot after that. Uh, yeah, and I, I don't think there was any concern as to it being on purpose. You get a curveball to the foot. You get a bases loaded to the elbow guard. Um, nothing behind any of it, in my opinion. I thought he looked pretty good. He threw some sliders that uh, had uh, some good action to it. Velocity was there. He was under control uh, one walk. But for the most part, I, I, I was looking forward to seeing a lot more of that today. Yeah. The importance of what you got out of Pilate and I suppose three scoreless, especially given the circumstances where he was in it. Uh, he did a nice job, really nice job. Uh, we continue to see him uh, settle in, and um, I just like his ability to get both sides out as far as righty, lefty. He's got a decent enough mix, and uh, he's got something for you. So uh, seeing those three innings today was, uh, was helpful. Was, was he the guy you...